so rewarding after you do all the hard work and you come back and you get your results and you see how that's going to impact future studies. And I guess that was really the moment when I, I said, man, this is really, you know, this, this could have an effect someday. When you're working on any task that's spread over three years, there's always points where you're like, why am I doing this? But working with the students really, really kept me going and motivated. I knew in the end, when I got a PhD, I'd be able to teach these students in a real job. And I just kind of used their motivation to help me get through. Every day you help somebody, they learn something new, you see that light bulb go off, and you can't beat that feeling. Look at some of the really successful treatments that are available for some types of cancer. And then if you look back at the literature and how that was developed, you realize how much work and how much research from different labs around the world contributed to that. And it's very easy to see that ongoing research is essential to the future of medicine. Before I got here, my mentors warned me that grad school requires someone to undergo changes. You're just not gonna be the same person coming out that you were coming in and um, I've witnessed that. Some people are really very uh, driven by the why and the what and the how and those are exactly the kind of students that should be engaging in research and they'll be the thinkers of tomorrow. It's such a, it's such a personal thing when you go after a PhD I mean you get other degrees for, for to allow yourself to take on different jobs but a PhD is something you get primarily for yourself and because of that, it just becomes a part of your makeup. I really find teaching rewarding, working with students rewarding. I like that human contact and helping people. I really got a lot out of my faculty here, so I thought this would be a great place to become a faculty member. I got offers from other places, and I just didn't feel like home there like it does here, kind of like a sense of community, and I thought it would be great to be able to give back. It was completely awesome to not have to worry about getting done with school and going to work in a job to pay for you know, my rent and food. Um, I got paid to do my research, which I needed to do to graduate, and um, it was, it's kind of just a load off. We need to provide opportunity for the very best thinkers to be able to invest themselves completely in the intellectual journey in order to move us ahead. We would hate to think that money uh, stood between any thinker of tomorrow and the um, invention or the patent or the license that they have the capacity to create. We don't come into this field expecting to make a lot of money. So to be able to have a tuition waiver or to have a stipend, basically have a salary for the year, it's crucial because if we would keep accruing loans over the six years that I'll be in grad school, I would be in debt up to my ears. Now I've found my niche, I want to keep getting better and I think that's what staying a grad student allows you to do. You always stay on the cutting edge, not settling with where you're at right now. I want to know more and there's always more to learn.